So um, we're at the other end of this journey now, aren't we? <laughs> at the other end of the water cube. So thanks. Oh, thank thanks. you. Thank you. Thanks. So I'm going to go around and we're talking about snacks. Okay. Snacks. Shut up. Okay. Uh, there were some minor snacks. Uh, one was that there were no handles on the door. Right? So people nearly tore down the door because they couldn't figure out how to open it. So they, you know, back and forth. Um, there was no, there was no stop for the door, so it came off the hinges at some point. So I, I, I improvised uh, the stop. Um, what were the other snags uh, that I could think of? Um, yeah, the, the, oh yeah. <laughs> now I remember. If, if we have. That's a good example, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How to help people open the door. Um, these are actually really cool. You know, yeah. Uh, because they, you know, you could get in and run cables here. Because you could then have, like, uh, a video on the wall or something. Yeah. And, and They also lock really co co cool from a distance as well. It's yeah. a sort of a sort of slightly uber yeah. lock to them. Because this one has cross beams inside here, so you can't actually run cables from here to here. Which is like, well, then it's useless. So, so because we've got round here, we've had to, okay. sorry, okay. we had to run, so we were gonna have, we were gonna have a cable, there's cables coming down the roof, and ideally we would have run them into the top. Yeah, uh, and above, then come up, above, and then they down would have rooted the all the way down. Yeah. But yeah, there's no channel there, so we had to we had to root it we had to root it down the inside, didn't yeah. we? And then um, uh, the other thing that went wrong was the the um, they made stronger board on the inside than in the outside, and it got turned around. It, it should have been stronger board on the outside because then you could have mounted a Visa display uh, and hung a monitor out here. Uh, the issue with that is, though, that we need to think about is that you need to put the laptop that drives the monitor <laughs> fairly close. And if you have a monitor here, where are you going to put the laptop? I mean, the laptop is probably going to have to go on the inside of the cube somewhere behind the seats. You have to be able to trail the cable through. Another option may be because um, Blip does, it's all syndicated through to iTunes on the podcast. And yeah. It could be another solution might be that you could actually play it off a an iPod Touch yeah. at some point yeah. you, when they slightly improve. The problem is, it. You, how do you lock the iPod Touch in place so nobody can steal yeah. it? Yeah, but you tuck it away somewhere. Yeah, but you still have to think about that, right? Um, what more was there? Uh, what about the area where we're editing? Oh yeah. I mean, the chairs are definitely the best yeah. thing. I mean, the speakers didn't really work particularly well, did they? No, but I... Um, but then we don't want it to be too noisy we, anyway. It's just, it should be just enough that it's not a, a mute voice, right? It's, it's just not like somebody talking and nothing coming out. It, it should just be that you know that there is something, right? Yeah. Well, a set of headphones... I know you don't like headphones around to stand. Yeah. But, would they no, no, but a set of headphones, maybe... So people could have plugged in, but then when you plug the headphones in, you lose the sound entirely. But some sort of switch that switches between the speakers yeah. and the headphones the, or picks up the power that, that might be an idea. But of course, a more powerful laptop than what we had to drive this relatively big display is a 42-inch display. We had a, a you know, El Cheapo laptop from HP. It's a 270 pound laptop. Yeah, it's, it's just, uh, and it, it couldn't, so it's, the whole thing is stretched and looks kind of ridiculous, yeah. right? But, but, you know, it's not too bad, but, but it, uh, it would be better with a slightly more expensive yeah. computer to do that. Um, and then, um, yeah, absolutely. So, snack list inside. Any so, the, well, the good side, the good thing first, uh, this worked really well. It's great that it's, um, it's plexi because it, it, gives it, it gives it a bit of life at the background. It looks a lot better. Uh, and of course, it just came out, it looked really professional when you sit behind it, uh, in front of it when you're doing things. 
nice with pillars and so far, etc. The, the, this is really useful to store stuff in. So it we got that so from like here last year, didn't we? And yeah, we yeah. Kept it. And, and the lighting kind of worked okay. It wasn't too hot in here. What, what I liked about the lighting, though, yeah. was that you could move the spotlight. And it was great for all the different skin tones and different times of the day when the light was coming in. You oh, could yeah. really... Uh, you actually there was some used I actually used oh, it. No, yeah, there no, was some nice light in here yeah. at certain times. Yeah, so yeah. That, that was good. Um, it, the, the cube, the windows on this side worked really well because the light, it really let a lot of light in. Yeah, yeah. No, it <laughs> did. It, the only time, there was one time of day where really bright light yeah. could come shining in and then everything would be really contrasty, kind of yeah. black and white yeah. lines everywhere. That was the only yeah. thing. And yeah. then um, the, it, we had a little bit of a funny thing with power at the top. Uh, and to you know, power the light, I had to climb a ladder every day to yeah. turn it on and off. But but apart from that, you know, the ceiling. You thought the ceiling worked well, didn't you? It's just yeah. like perspex, isn't it? Um, yeah. And it's loose, but it sort of works. And it did. It yeah. did reduce the. I yeah. mean, it was it definitely, definitely quieter, did. wasn't Basically, it? The I mean, lamp it's... made a huge difference to the sound, not uh, the echo level in here. Yeah. Uh, because Funny, it's a sort of an uh, irregular shape at a central point, oh, and I think that's, that's actually yeah. well, it's a little bit soft, that. right? Yeah. Uh, it actually made a huge difference, so that's important. One issue actually. with the lamp was that it's got a big, big, bright bottom bulb that was actually quite hot. Yeah. And yeah. this place would would heat up in the afternoons, yeah. Yeah. Uh, or Definitely. just after a while when you had the lights on. Um, trying to think, what? Oh, the glass table worked really well because yeah. it kind of gave a nice sense of space. Yeah. Um, yeah, because if it's not glass, then it looks a bit loose. cramped. Yeah. Um, we kept the TV behind the sofa at night as well, which yeah. worked really well. Yeah, yeah. And um, this, there's been a little bit of storage decent because we moved the sofa forward a bit, which worked much better because yeah. we've been able to store a few things behind yeah. that. But also, you got a little bit of depth perspective towards the thing in the back. That yeah. also worked. Yeah. I mean, towards the but if we're carrying on next week with this, the only thing I would do is absolutely get something done with the door. Yeah, because yeah. the door will fall off. It would fall off if it we would kept fall going. off. Somebody yeah. would have broken it. Every once in a while, somebody ran into it. Yeah. I mean, and in the beginning, it was hard to figure out how to open and oh, close it you know as what, well. That's yeah. what you need. You need these transparent stickers to stick them on here. Yeah. Right? A couple, just so that you can see that there's, there's actually glass here. Mm. Or a glass plex. Right? So, yeah. so that, and all, but it's also, you know, kind of nice little branding thing. Yeah, but it was also just that people tried to push the door yeah, open yeah. Yeah. when it was a sliding door. Yeah. yeah. You know, so we have to figure out something that makes it a little more obvious from the inside. But if you put the handle, which is a sliding door handle, then it's fine. Yeah, yeah, probably. Rather than an opening. Yeah. But if you have one like that, that's a fixed Or like a little arrow under the logo. But it's it's general, it's been fantastic, hasn't it? Yeah, it's been great. The factor around here has been the conversion upload, you know, editing, whatever. And we don't do editing. I mean, we slap together, you know, front to back and then push it up. It was good we had 10 megabits. And that's needed. You can't really do it with really low. We were getting about, I mean, sometimes I'd be getting 1500 kilobits per second of yeah. stream yeah. speeds, yeah. upload speeds, yeah. which is good. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it was a good internet connection, actually. Yeah. It was sufficient. Yeah. And, and oh, we, it was excellent. And we ran yeah, it, we, it was, ex- it was minutes, an excellent. You know, three minutes for a video. Yeah. I mean, yeah. that's and perfect. We, we just ran so. an, um, uh, an Airport Express on it. Yeah, and yeah. that was fine. Yeah, you know, it doesn't need anything more fancy. Than Everything's that. been Wi-Fi here, but it's been it's been superb to have the tables facing outwards uh, because it's inviting for people to come and look and talk and whatever. Yeah, the only thing one should do is probably put a, a cover over the display station or something. People want to go to it and start messing with it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. it's kind of funny, but yeah, it's, it's a, the minor issues really. Um, yeah. what about Blip TV itself? <laughs> Well, <laughs> that was quite funny. Blip TV made a major upgrade in the middle of the week. Um, so Blip TV overall is brilliant. It's beautiful. I mean, it has a nice professional presentation. There's a lot of tweaking you can do. You can also link it up to other services to a certain extent. And so in itself, Blip TV is great. With the upgrade, um, there were some problems in the interface. So we would start uploading videos and descriptions would disappear. For a 24-hour period, we couldn't upload videos. So that was a they major... Did, they did respond yeah, pretty well quickly, on me, yeah, and, yeah. and they and tweeted back to me It was partially well. our own fault, because we t- tried to use the classic interface, and that's where the block was, and, but it wasn't in the new, and we didn't want to use the new, because we were yeah. like... We just this? trained a load of people to use yeah. the old one. And, and, and the new one was losing 
things. You yeah, know? Yeah. I mean, our descriptions, our tags the and stuff. The new one is still is, and Joe in London's having the same problem. The yeah. descriptions go yeah. first yeah. time you upload yeah. them. Yeah. 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 So, Blip, if you're watching this, now you know. <laughs> <laughs> but overall, I mean, if Siri had wanted to implement a platform for yeah. video, for the video yeah. system to be hosted on, it would have cost them hundreds of thousands of yeah, yeah, I mean, this, this, I mean, it would have yeah. been hilarious, you know, if they'd come to us and said, we'd like you to run a platform like this, and what our budget's eight, eight euros, yeah. or eight dollars. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. No, Blip's been brilliant, uh, actually. Uh, and it they, looks uh, we would have paid them a lot more as well, and we'd be happy to have paid yeah. a couple yeah. of hundred if, euros If, if we that. could have had a um, you know, faster conversion queue, or a wider conversion queue, or whatever, yep. uh, you know, for, for I would actually want to be able to bump it up to... Yeah. I want high priority for a week yeah. on conversions and yeah, stuff. Yeah, for an event-based yeah. thing. Yes, you know, yeah. pay a couple, you know, hundred dollars or whatever for yeah. that. Or yeah, yeah. Th that's no problem. Yeah. yeah. So, what about the cameras and how they performed? Yeah, uh, your camera, the one you're using now, get as better sound than the than the yeah. than the flips. That's but the, Yeah, but the flips are really Sunny good back. because the. Uh, it's so easy to use them. You can be, well, we've been giving them away to people. Say, oh, you did yeah. the interview. Here's the Here's I, how it works. Yeah. End of the day, I've got too many videos to upload because everybody's been using the flip, you know, making their own how videos. How many did you have? In, well, flips? how much? Yeah, I had five flips. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. In fact, I had six, but I only uh, handed five out. One yeah. was my own. Yeah. So, but, yeah. But, but the key thing with it is that the, the, doing the interviews is not the limiting factor. Yeah. I mean, it, you know, it takes two minutes to do an interview, and then it takes you know, ten minutes to prepare it, upload yeah. it, get it processed, whatever. And and then also, a lot of people want to come and talk. Yeah. Lots of people want to talk to us about what we do and etc. Not only you know the, the TV stuff. It's I mean the, the video stuff itself, but also the other things that we work on. So you can't process and upload and film all the time. Yeah. So you know, even if there were five or six of us here. We yeah. were busy all the time. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Success. Yeah. Cool. So and and okay. and basically, you could automate some of this. I mean, there could be a certain level of automation. You know, you get your clip, you maybe cut off the beginning and the end, and then you just put it through, you know, the automated script process, whatever. Yeah. That uploads it, puts logos on it, does all that stuff. It would speed it up a bit, but then you know, there's there's also the fact that you have to write a description, a title. You know, yeah. put tags on it, and that is sort of the yeah. things that a human has to do. You yeah. know, 